Hey everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and this tutorial I want to go over point lights. And I wanted to show you something real quick that doesn't really have to do with lights, but um, I just wanted to show you this cool website I found out while doing these tutorials. Um, it was called Unsplash, and it's just unsplash.com. And I'll go to the top real quick, and it's just free high resolution photos you can just do whatever you want with them and you don't even have to um, credit them if you don't want to but I think this website is pretty cool I'm gonna take some of my photos off here and use them in After Effects to show you guys what's going on here see I pulled this guy out of there because I thought it would be useful in this section here but that's for that I just thought that was a really cool resource that you guys could use if you were wondering how to get some nice high resolution photos to work on and you can follow along if you would like. So I, I created a point light here by going to layer new uh, light and then I just changed the light type to point. So now I'm going to double click on my point light here and go over some of what uh, point light is all about. So a point light, you can think of it as a light bulb that's just flying around in space, pretty much. <clears throat> it's just hanging there in space, no lampshade on it or anything, just the bulb. And it has um, some fall off, just like a, a spotlight, but it is, but it um, casts shadows and everything, and you can use it to affect a broader area than a uh, spotlight so you can um, also change the color if you want to so if you want to set like a kind of a more dreary I guess mood a dreamy mood I guess put it in that color um, actually purple is kind of dreamy so you can change the uh, intensity here and if you put it down to zero without any other lights in there, it's going to be nothing. So the intensity can be really high. And if you put it really high, it can blow some of the colors out. And it also has fall off, like I mentioned, where you can make the fall off going out like this. And it creates a vignette on your scene. And then you have the distance and everything, just like the spotlight. The point light also casts shadows. You must remember to um, have cast shadows on on the layer that is in front, and to have accept shadows on on the layer that you want the shadows to be casted onto. <clears throat> so I'll just go over that real quick for you. Now open up the. This is my picture that I'm using. is called the guy standing and I'm gonna twirl down and come into the material options and you want to make sure that accept shadows is on and accept lights is on and this is for casting shadows I'm gonna turn on this layer this layer right here and I have this object that's in uh, in front of the in between the light and the background layer and I'm gonna twirl down here to the material options and make sure that cast shadows is on. Now I can come into my light options and change the casting shadows on to on. Wait for it to render out a second and now I've got a shadow that is being cast. You can change your darkness of your shadow and the diffusion of the shadow which is more like kind of like the blurriness of the shadow and how far out it like kind of like goes so I'm gonna turn the shadows off because it doesn't look good when it's like blasted out like that onto here it was just an example and a point light can act sort of like a spotlight if you if you want it to by moving the position of the light so I'm going to turn off this vector here and I'm going to bring this point light really close to the picture by going into two views and this picture here I'll go into the top view and we'll just bring it closer using the position 
now we have here is kind of like a different kind of light going on here. So maybe you want to superimpose a, a moon in the back here and you can put this light right on and it barely kind of like lights up the scene. Now if I want to change my intensity down, it's going to only light up like certain parts. Now it's not as um, pretty, uh, it's not as, I can't think of the word, it's not as constrained I guess as the uh, spotlight where you can have like the, the spotlight be like right <clears throat> on this and have like a circle right here but it does kind of illuminate only a little bit if you pull it close if I pull it really close then that's about as good as you can get there and if you go past it it turns all the way black because now it's not being illuminated anymore if you move back more of more of this will get illuminated until you move too far back and then obviously it gets less illuminated as you're farther back uh, you can just turn up the intensity if you need to go farther back to create like new effects uh, new looking cool looking effects with your light now that's all that there is for the spotlight settings and how spotlights work so in the next tutorial I'll go over the parallel light and we can see how that works differently than the spot and cone lights so look forward to seeing you at that tutorial leave a comment if you have any comments you want to let me know of thumbs up the videos if you like them and thumbs down them if you really really hate them so and uh, leave me uh, some feedback if you really really hate them and I don't mind I take constru constructive criticism just fine been in the industry for a while and pretty much everything you do is never right on the first try so there's always criticism and just take it with an open mind and don't fall in love with your work because you know you're gonna have to change it all the time so I'll see you guys later on the next tutorial and have a good day